Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up to help the channel grow. Click the bell icon at the top of the page to get notified when I post a new video. Universal Channeling Channeling the Conscious Universe Susie Ward, Channeling Matthew Ward, February 1, 2023 With loving greetings from all souls at this station, this is Matthew. The dynamic prelude to the dawn of Earth's freedom from darkness is presenting some very difficult situations, and that is why many souls chose to be there now. Prior to birth, they were aware of what would be happening at approximately this time, just as you volunteers were, and they made soul contracts and pre-birth agreements accordingly. Souls throughout this universe knew that Divine Grace was offering an unprecedented opportunity to complete third-density karmic lessons in one Earth lifetime instead of numerous incarnations. Those who wanted to take advantage of this unique offer specified in their contracts desired longevity in geographical areas where dire circumstances and death would become prevalent. Upcoming situations will fulfill those contract provisions for most, if not all of the souls who chose to complete their lessons, thereby attaining balance 3D experiencing and evolving to fourth density. When individuals accomplish their goal transition from physical to spirit lifetime, they will rejoice in knowing they succeeded. If death prior to the chosen lifespan prevents persons from experiencing everything they needed to wind up 3D lessons, they can evolve by completing the remainder with greater ease during life in a spirit world. Individuals who need the most arduous experiencing are being energized by stronger souls so they can master their chosen lessons. And, persons who achieved personal ascension to fourth density and whose lives are cut short in the crossfire, so to say, can hone their developing skills, talents and other abilities during life and spirit to enrich and enhance their next embodiment, in a 4D civilization. Dear family, along with natural feelings of compassion and empathy for people who are enduring great hardships, please keep in mind that those who are most affected are experiencing what they chose in contracts and pre-birth agreements so they can evolve, and that is the goal of every soul in every physical lifetime. It would be misleading to say you will smoothly sail through upcoming months. Spiritually and consciously, absolutely you are well prepared to do that, but the clashing energies of the light forces and the darkness in its last gasps can affect you, as they will many others, with waves of fatigue, moodiness and moments of disillusionment or even despair. Those episodes will not be long-lasting, and you can alleviate them by doing what always is beneficial, but not always remembered, breathe deeply and rhythmically, drink a lot of pure water, and get sufficient sleep. We have spoken before about the value of balance in mind, body and spirit. And when you are amidst the energy of people's fury, fear, grief, confusion and shock, balance will be your steadfast ally. You will be needed to assure all who are willing to listen that when the turmoil ends, the world will undergo major benevolent changes. Of the numerous ways to maintain or regain balance, the best is being with nature. Yes, we have spoken about this before, do, but perhaps we need to be explicit about its role in your overall well-being. As microcosms of Earth. Your bodies contain all of the planet's elements, and walking among trees in parks and forests or along shorelines or in fields and pastures lets your energy mingle with the planets. This keeps your elements well-tuned and your soul self-aligned with cosmic consciousness. For the strongest effects of this connection, go barefooted when weather and terrain permit. Being active outdoors on sunny days is helpful, lying idly to get a tan is not, however, and, contrary to what Big Pharma says, their lotions not only don't protect skin, they are harmful. Allergel works well. Always natural substances are better than synthetic products that contain chemicals that aren't compatible with body's chemical makeup. Spending time with companion and farm animals is excellent for balance, and so is being in the energy of wild animals like deer, birds, squirrels, rabbits and other creatures of nature. They are more sensitive to energy fluctuations than are most people and they automatically absorb the high vibrations of the sun's rays, Sol is the benefactor of Earth and all her life forms. The effects are apparent in some wild animals lessen fear of people and in members of one species befriending members of others. People who think animals act only according to instinct and training are giving them dreadfully short shrift. They are souls with a range of intelligence and emotions like humans, but they don't have humans acquired characteristics or feelings such as hatred, deviousness, greed, hypocrisy, betrayal, resentment or vengefulness. Animals are multidimensional and in sleep state visit other worlds, so do people but they don't know that and animals do. Some have the ability to reason, sense danger and save lives, and pets energy can ease pain or stress in their human families. As a civilization advances, souls in the animal kingdom do too, and it is not unusual for human souls to experience a lifetime in an animal body. The importance of humankind's relationship with the animal kingdom cannot be overstated. People's treatment of animals, who also are God's children, 
is a paramount factor in the evolutionary status of a civilization. Let us add a bit of history here. When the animal species you know were brought to the planet long ago from Jupiter, where they were designed in accordance with Guy's wishes, the lion and the lamb did lie side by side. Animals and people lived peaceably together, honored each other as the divine sovereign souls they all were, knew their inseparable connection with each other and the planet, and communicated telepathically. Aware that plants also were souls with levels of consciousness, humans and animals were grateful to trees, flowers, grass, and all other life in the plant kingdom for providing food, shade, shelter and beauty. Love and harmony was the foundation of life in that idyllic world. Then, knowing the vital significance of the relationship between humans and animals in regard to evolution, the dark forces, a vast, powerful force field of low vibrations that meanders throughout this universe, assaulted the paradise. It instilled the predator-prey instinct in animals and inculcated in the collective human psyche, warring mentality, brutality, and the concept that animals are unfeeling dumb beasts. People started treating each other and the animals atrociously, and that was the onset of the planet's eons of descending from high fifth density to low third and getting stuck there. At a point in Earth's more recent history, relatively speaking, some animals made soul-level agreements with humans to be their nourishment in exchange for good care during their lives and a merciful death. However, it has been only in the past several decades that individuals and groups started following their intuition to champion good treatment and humane killing of food animals and to rescue and care for lost, abused and woefully neglected domesticated animals. With joyousness we see more and more people participating in these light-filled undertakings. A few centuries passed, the dark forces influenced the killing of whales, its prime targets. It knows these souls volunteered to inhabit huge bodies so they could anchor light in ocean depths where darkness cannot extinguish it and that species-wide, whales and dolphins are the most spiritually and consciously evolved souls on the planet. We are greatly heartened by the many groups that are making concerted efforts to protect cetaceans and other marine life, which includes tackling the immense job of clearing debris from Earth's waters. Knowing the trauma that would befall animals taken from their families in the wild, the forces put out the energetic idea that displaying them in cages would be educational for the public and training them to perform tricks would be entertainment for the public. Another of the force's ideas was that killing animals is a sport, and displaying their heads as trophies showed admirable marksmanship. And, it influenced people to desire ivory decorations and devise the nonsense that specific body parts of some animals provide virility. Dark Forces was responsible for the slaughter of bison en masse, and in so doing, wielded a double-edged sword. Bison were essential to native tribes in America, who, like native populations elsewhere, know their inseparability with the supreme being of this universe and everything that exists on earth. The forces wanted to suppress that knowledge, and influenced individuals and governments to greatly decrease the numbers of savage, ignorant indigenous peoples everywhere. It is a step forward in enlightenment that some leaders are acknowledging the terrible injustices committed during the dark chapter of earth's history. Dear family, the light you radiate is weakening the forces' influences and inspiring the populace to take longer, bolder steps to end mistreatment of all animals restore their natural habitats, protect species nearing extinction, and stop pharmaceutical and cosmetic companies from using animals to test their products. The progress being made in those areas is hastening the evolution of Earth's peoples. As humankind continues advancing in spiritual and conscious awareness, so will the animals. All diets will become plant-based, ending the predator-prey, and food animal chains. When Earth's golden age is blooming in fullness, once again people in the animal kingdom will honor each other and converse telepathically as they live together lovingly, cooperatively and harmoniously with all of nature. I am in a position to know that Matthew's assessment of Russia's mission in Ukraine is accurate. Does he know when the troops will end all of deep state's operations in that country? No, we don't. Extraterrestrial special forces and intelligences agencies and Russian military units tell us they still are hearing of places where children are held captive, bioweaponry is manufactured or stockpiled and adrenochrome is produced. Energy-wise and pragmatically, major media's false information that has generated hostility toward the troops has been a deterrent to their progress. There are indications that the facts cannot be withheld much longer, and when those are known, the energy change will enable swifter completion of the mission. Is the global economy really collapsing or is that fear porn? We don't know what information evoked that question or others that are somewhat similar, so we shall tell you what we do know. Several countries have been bankrupt for quite some time, many others are teetering on the edge, and national and personal debts cannot be repaid. Those situations have two causes. One is outright thievery by leaders of some governments, and the other is subtle thievery by the Illuminati via banking, lending and investment industries they established and control, like World Economic Forum, International Monetary Fund, 
Bank for International Settlements, Federal Reserve System, and Stock Markets. For years world commerce has been countless computer transactions with no monetary foundation, and that cannot continue. Not only is it collapsing under its unsustainable weight, but its intention is based in darkness low vibrations and those are being overwhelmed by the high vibrations of light. National economies will not be appended abruptly and strand citizenries with worthless currencies. Plans are in order to avoid that, and to minimize chaos while the global economic system undergoes dramatic change, and every measure will be taken to make the transition from the old to the new as smooth as possible. Implementation and administration of the new system will be managed by honorable individuals with wisdom, moral, and spiritual integrity and business expertise. Beloved brothers and sisters, simply by being you send forth lights high vibrations that are helping uplift the downtrodden, arouse the sleepers, and encourage the newly awakened. Your confidence about Earth's shining future will help her people stand tall during the transformative months ahead. All light beings in this universe honor and support you with the unparalleled power of unconditional love. Love and Peace Suzanne Ward Website, thematthewbooks.com Email, susie at matthewbooks.com Please send all questions and comments to susie at matthewbooks.com. All messages from December 2003 to date are archived on www.matthewbooks.com.